Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. A few things I want to talk about before we get started today. First off, last time we finished all of the stock science, and we have not yet landed on any other planets just on Kerbin's moons, which is not something I'm particularly happy with. So this episode, we are going to be wrapping up the current flights that we have, and then next time we are going to start all over. How we're going to do that is entirely up to you. There are two options. I want something that is harder, that requires us to actually go to other planets to completely unlock the tech tree. So for that we can go with the mod Better Than Starting Man, which Scott Manley did a kind of mod spotlight on not too long ago. You can check that out if you want more or need more information on it. The other option is to use the mod-oriented tech tree, set the science level like super hard down to 10% or something like that, and then just use that with a number of mods to play through everything again. The Better Than Starting Mant is a complete conversion and does not work well with other mods, so it would basically just be that you know, like Kerbal Engineer, some of the other non-part mods, the Ferrum or Near are not possible with Better Than Starting Man, according to the developer of that particular mod. They don't work well together, or they're unbalanced. So let me know which you would prefer, Better Than Starting Man, or the mod-oriented tech tree and the mod oriented tech tree is just basically a tech tree that's been remapped to have all the mods kind of stuck in there at more log logical positions and make progression of multiple mods feel better and if we were doing that we would do um, from aerospace we would do B9's procedural wings are procedural parts. We'll do procedural fairings. We'll do B9. We may do interstellar. We would do probably real shoots. And then we'll do remote tech also to give us a little bit more challenge. Mm. I will not do deadly re entry if we do the mod oriented tech tree. At least I won't start with it because the procedural parts, P9's procedural parts, do not currently work with Deadly Reentry. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, but those are kind of uh, the big one from airspace and remote tech to add some difficulty. And then a few other ones to add some more parts and to make things a little bit interesting. Though Deadly Reentry is something I intend to add later in that series, assuming that B9 procedural parts ever starts to support it. And of course the Better Than Starting Mod or Better Than Starting Man does include Deadly Reentry from the beginning. So again, let me know which one of those you prefer. Now we're going to advance to our rover. Or, well, it's calling itself a rover, but it's not really a rover. But our Duna lander. And then we'll switch back to the Moho Pro, assuming that we don't have anything else there. We're going to wrap up both these two missions this episode. And hopefully get them back to Carbon and landed and all that cool stuff. So I will meet you back at the Duna lander. And here we are in our very unusual Duna lander. Numal has said that he really, really, really has to pee. But we've had to tell him to, you know, just hold it for a little bit longer. You'll be back in Carbon in, you know, a couple years. You can hold it that long. 
So we'll just fast forward a little bit more. Quite, quite that much, preferably. But I forget exactly what this node was supposed to be doing. Apparently it is trying to get us a transfer window or periapsis. But we've gone off our node a little bit. Okay, a lot. I'm trying to get that just right. Accelerating is just going all over the place. And it's changing just as we're ho hovering over it. Let's try some RCS. There we go, that's better. That hopefully should be enough. Turn off SES and RCS and see if that stabilizes. There we go. Now then, we'll do an SOI change alarm here. Mm, we'll say two minutes just to make sure that we have enough time to switch over. 130 something days, that's going to be a little while. We'll be coming back from Moho before that actually gets there. So let's fast forward and a jump to the Moho probe as it approaches Moho. And we have officially entered Moho's sphere of influence. So we will add a maneuver node here to let to snap the periapsis and then you just do a whole bunch of retrograding. whole bunch apparently. We are going quite fast. Um, how long will that take us to burn? An hour? Seriously? Alrighty then. And how long until we get there? Uh, 30 minutes? Which is which? Okay, note in 30 minutes. Well, I guess we really need to start burning right now. I'll just start locking on retrograde and keep burning. And of course, I'm not going to make you watch a 56 minute burn. Damn those ion drives. And now we attempt to land very heavily on the attempt part. Because we do seem to be going rather quickly. Go ahead and get the gear out though, just in case. These little engines are supposed to help us take off and land, and I'm not entirely certain that's going to work exactly as I want it to. But we'll be finding out very, very shortly as we are hurtling toward the surface. See how much thrust do we have right now? 0.66. We are 20 kilometers up. And I think now would be a time to kick in those engines. And we may have waited a little bit too late to that. Okay, yep, we definitely waited a little bit too late for that. In fact, we may have waited a lot too late for that. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, it looks like we might actually make it down in one piece. Going to run out of fuel, probably. May even bounce a bit, so let's turn on that. 
And we made it. Getting off is going to be a little bit difficult. And I don't remember if I bound anything to action groups. Apparently I did. So material study. Keep that. Wow, that's a lot of science. 200 science? Wow. Seismic scans. More seismic scans. Oh, I guess I should be reading this. Thermal expansion from the sun is calling, causing a geological activity. Temperature scans. The melted thermometer makes you question the safety of this mission. With every fan in the pod on, you don't need a thermometer to tell you it's hot. Same thing. The temperature in the shadow seems to be quite low. The mystery goo. The goo is having way too much fun in the sun. The goo bakes into a substance suspicious as like hardened bubblegum. The samples have taken well to moho and are now brown. Material bay bakes in the heat of moho surface. It appears that trace elements are reacting to the samples contained within. You expose the samples to high temperatures of moho. A lot of them melt in really interesting ways. Quote trace amounts of evaporated samples. Same again. And now we have to get out of here. Um. Well. That's the hard part, isn't it? Because these engines were really supposed to let us take off. According to Kerbal Engineer, when we were in the VAB, it said this had enough thrust just for the ion engine to land, but apparently it lied. Well, we'll give it a shot, and if we don't make it, we don't make it. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, here goes. Just kind of go straight for the nine green mark. And what's our thrust to weight ratio? It is not enough, and there is no way we can dump enough mass. Just no way at all. Hmm. I can't drop these off. Couldn't even if I wanted to, because that would give us or take away all of our power. So I guess the Moho probe is not coming home. I don't even think if I dumped the fuel we would have enough thrust. Again, it was supposed to be pretty close. I don't know, I guess that calculation is messed up somehow. Alright, we will just have to live with the, the Duna Rover. Hopefully it performs better. We are officially in the sphere of influence of a Duna. So we're going to retract our solar panels as we're going to be doing a aero break maneuver. So we'll just fast forward a little bit after saving. And rely on things to slow us down. Should be at... Yeah, 9,000 periapsis. That should be enough to slow us down. Enough for a capture. Fairly certain. At least I hope. I'm actually in no way certain. Just fast forward as fast as we can. So we start hitting atmosphere. Should be soon. I think it's around 41,000. Yeah, there we go. Then we will point prograde. And we're actually going to turn upside down. So that our lift doesn't push us out of the atmosphere too quickly. Keep an eye on that. And then we'll just accelerate. See how this goes for us. Oh, 
it's trying to stop our warp. Okay, I will cancel that. Apsis is still dropping. Apoapsis should be going down. We're really curved, aren't we? Did I do that? Or was it already like that? I don't know. Don't think it was. We'll find out. Okay, we may want to flip over now. Start climbing a little bit. Right, we already are. We aren't really slowing down. Speed is dropping slowly, but not very quickly at all. Okay, there goes our thing slowing us down. So I guess that works. Not going to try Ike, I don't think. We planned on it originally, but we don't really need the science anymore. Just want to wrap this mission up and get Newman home. Newmall home. Okay, we're actually at... Oh crap, we are. Okay, finally, we're pulling out, so that should be good enough. Get us out of the atmosphere. Apoapsis is a dropping rather rapidly. Hopefully not too rapidly. I don't want to land on the dark side. That would be pretty bad. We may have to end up speeding up here. What's our height? Okay, we're pulling out of the atmosphere rapidly. Okay, I think it's stabilizing a little bit. Still pretty deep in the atmosphere. 13,000. Climbing. 500k. We can speed things up now. 475. 450. Oh, things are getting a little bit wobbly right there. Don't break on me. Make another save just to be safe. 425. Yeah, I think we're pretty much safe now. It's only down to 420, and we're already at 30k. So we're going to add a maneuver node as soon as we get out of the atmosphere, I guess. And we will pull one end of our orbit out. Maybe we just completely circularize it. Mm, I'm not sure which, but we're going to add a maneuver node here. And we'll set our periapsis, or set that our apoapsis. Burn prograde until our periapsis is. 60k sounds about right. And then we'll circularize our orbit and detach the fuel container up here and then drop back down in the atmosphere. So let's do that. Our right, our orbit is not even close to circular, but it's good enough. So we're going to uh, pop off these. Let's go ahead and make sure that we extend these handles solar panels. I don't want our little probe to run out of power. It's really just uh, extra fuel so it's not terribly important since we're not going to Ike but in case we need it we'll have it up here. And I don't know who is driving what. Okay there we go. So that's falling down. And we are all set. So we'll 
go to her apoapsis. I guess we cannot activate the reaction wheel from the seat, which is more than a little strange. I did not know that was a thing. Um, we're pretty much going to have to land this without SAS. Or we're going to try. We'll quick save, we will give it a shot, and if we can pull it off, we can pull it off. If not, we can't. And here we are plummeting down towards the surface of Duna. Numal is of course having the time of his life, even though he's probably going to die. I mean, I guess it's good to go out with a bang. Uh, it is really hard to control this. We're not really in thick atmosphere yet. But at least we're in sunlight, so we do have power. I really don't understand why this module just does not work. If I would have known it was going to be this way. I would have stuck something on here to fix that. But alas, we are pretty much screwed. Um, should we go ahead and lower the gear? Nah, let's wait a little bit longer. Whew. Okay, I think we're going to speed things up a little bit. At least until we get down atmosphere a little bit. It's trying to pull up now. Still doing okay. Even without SAS. The aerodynamics are helping us out now. Staying on course. We are going rather quickly though. Surface speed of over 800. Which might as well be over 9,000. Okay, it should start picking up control once we drop below about 10,000. Fortunately, we may be hitting a mountain before we do that. No, we still have... Still quite high above the terrain. Looks like we're at sea level now. Or the train is around sea level. Okay, we'll slow things down again. And see if we can't fly this at all. Whoa. Calm down, man. Alright, I think now would be a good time for gear. Uh, don't flip out on me. Why are you trying to roll? Come on, stay straight. Stay straight. Ugh. You're just not ever going to be able to take off from here, are you? Oh, crap. Don't do it. No. Okay, he's trying... Losing complete control. And we're just gone. There's no way to recover now. Not without any kind of SAS. We do have a parachute, so we can try that. And if we land correctly, we may be able to pull this off. I guess we should go ahead and deploy the parachute then. Has it been deployed? I don't think so. There we go. It's slowing us down and kind of stabilizing us a little bit. We really need to land with the thrusters facing downwards if we're ever going to get off of here. Suppose we could try doing some science. Oh, uh, I don't think I have science. Nope, no hotkeys. Unless there may be the brakes. Nope, not there either. All right. I guess we can turn on our thrusters to maybe uh, slow us down a little bit. Hopefully. 
hopefully a little bit more than that. Seven. It's not slowing us down anymore. Oh, that did not go good. Yeah, we lost an engine. Hmm. Had these thrusted down so that we wouldn't flip over. But I guess that did not work very well. I don't know if we could get off from this. Thrust to weight ratio of 6? Probably not. We would be too asymmetrical. We can't even flip over, actually. I guess we can. Can we take off? No chance. Nope, not going to happen. Yeah. Alright, so we will not be landing on Duna. We'll just have to grab some science from orbit and then head back. In order to get some control back, we're going to be redocking with this fuel tank module with our craft over here slowly very very slowly just kind of line it up a little bit there little goose with the docking alignment indicator mod which is so incredibly awesome Like we almost have it. Oops. And docked. All right. So now then we should have SAS and all of that kind of lovely stuff. So control from here. Yes, SAS. So we can get, actually get a new more home. All right, our just a little bit into our launch window. So we'll set that up and then a launch in a while and head back to Gerben since we will be going that way. I think we need to launch from the light side. I believe that's accurate. Right, Corbin is 92. And Duna is how fast? Can't really see. Seven, yeah. So we need to go faster. Right, so we will be launching there and trying to intercept Kerbin and I will be back once we have that node fiddle with Numal has uh, made it back with his craft, or at least most of it. The science made it, that's all that really matters. A little bit of a, you know, challenging there, or um, worrying there at the end. Thought he may have died in the crash, 
or well, the um, water landing. Uh, I guess he didn't assume crash positions. That must be it. But he is alive and in one piece. And then we can recover him and this vessel and see what we get. From Numal, we get 112 science. EVA, cover of a vessel, and 15 experience gain. Our first level 4 guy. Not that it does anything. For him, let's check the other vessel. Or the actual vessel itself, instead of just the pilot. 245 science, just from the material study in the mystery goo. I guess the other experiments did not survive the crash. I think they were on the other part. Uh, and we recovered a bit of funds, but only 33% value. Not great, but whatever. No crew, of course. And I think that is everything. Landed. We have a few things that are landed at Kerbin. I don't even know what that is. It's a way over. That must be part of our other thing. I guess they'd actually made it down. Landed the moon. Orbiting the sun. Orbiting Moho. On escape trajectory out of the sun. Alright, that is everything for this season of Kerbal Space Program. Be sure to let me know about what you would prefer in terms of whether to do better than starting manned or the mod-oriented tech tree for next season. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.